Howdy folks, David from Figma here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to navigate a FigJam file. We're gonna be talking about things like panning and zooming, keyboard shortcuts, and we're gonna finish it off with some navigation hacks. Let's jump in. The first thing you'll need to know how to do is navigate by panning and zooming. You can pan and zoom by holding spacebar and clicking left, right, up and down. And while you hold spacebar, you can click around the canvas and pan left and right diagonally all over the place. Next up is zooming in and out. Grab those fingers on that trackpad, pinch to zoom in, pull to zoom out, or if your computer is inversed, do the opposite. You can also hold down your command or control key and use the wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out. As you can see, I'm zooming out, I'm zooming in, and I can go over here on the right and see that I'm at 137% zoom. This is great for adding things to the canvas. Zooming out is great for seeing other elements on the canvas and moving around a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and put this all into context and see how it works with this C-Think wonder chart. If I'm looking at this C-Think wonder and I wanna check out a student example, maybe I even see that another student has liked this, I can zoom in. I am pinching on my trackpad or holding down control and command on my computer and zooming in. I can then grab whatever stamp it is that I'm going to give and give that student a thumbs up. I can then pinch on my trackpad to zoom out and I can pan around by holding space and clicking to see the rest of the canvas. Ooh, when I check out what this one is over here, I can grab my stamps as well. I can read, I can zoom out. I can then go ahead and zoom on in. And I like to give feedback or add things to the canvas when I'm zoomed pretty closely in, probably above 100%. And then I like to zoom out pretty far, as you can see I'm at 30%, to then pan around the canvas to move to other elements. Let's jump into some navigation hacks. I can hold my shift or my tab key to go between sections pretty nicely. Right now I'm holding shift tab to go to previous sections, like I showed you before in this video. I can then hold the tab key now and I'm going from section to section and actually using FigJam as a presentation tool. Shift tab to go back, tab to go forward. Let's see what happens when I hit tab again. Ah, oh, I'm brought to the next section on my FigJam. Really nice for making quick low fidelity presentations right in FigJam. Let's use this scientific method to look at some other hacks and tips to navigate something like this. If I want to go ahead and zoom really quickly and check out the hypothesis section, I can click on it and hold down shift two. Wow, I'm brought right there. I can then hit shift one to be brought out to my entire canvas. I wanna check out the test and experiment. Let's experiment with this, shift two. Nice, look at that. I can then click onto the sticky note, hit shift two as well if I wanna get really close. Shift one to see everything. I can even, if I would like to hold down and select certain elements on my canvas and hold shift two, and I can see both those elements I've selected. Shift one to see everything. This really helps for zooming in and out really quickly inside of a lesson that contains a lot of stuff. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope these tips help you fly around a Fig Jam canvas faster than a caffeinated hummingbird. Have a fantastic rest of your day and happy jamming.